Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. The hulking Russian Aslan Bekmakmadov will make his return to the ring on May the 25th following a pretty comprehensive loss to Agi Kabyal a few months back. He will be facing Junior Far in his return fight, which will be on the undercard of a Christian and Billy headlined fight on May the 25th. So this is going to be in Canada. So this fight, I guess you could kind of look at it and go... Uh, both these guys who were known to each other from the amateurs, but also they fought on the same card not so long ago at the end of 2023, both losing. You had uh, Makhmadov getting beaten by Kabayal. By the end of that fight, and only about three rounds or so, uh, Makhmadov's body resembled candle wax with the level of punishment that he took to the body. And Junior Farr was stopped by Frank Sanchez. And one of the things that um, I was thinking, because these two have been involved in the Saudi cards, is, is this almost like a repercharge? That basically they go away after their losses, get a decent win, and then they can be back at the table potentially on another, another Saudi card. And I'll come to who I think that could end up being against uh, if they win in a, in a little bit. But in terms of the uh, the press release, so I have the Tiger Management uh, has put out a press release about Makhmadov, who they manage on and this card. So they've said of uh, Makhmadov, honestly, I'm happy. It's good work on the part of my team to already secure a new big fight, and especially a fight that will be excellent. I've already faced him in a very close fight that he won when we were amateurs, so I'm more than determined to avenge that defeat. And in terms of what they've said on their social media about this fight, respectively, both of them actually very little haven't seen anything from either. Although Makhmadov has been posting a few different things in recent months, uh, being a bit philosophical about the loss that, you know, he's meant to um, grow from this, all that sort of thing, and that he didn't, he hasn't given up and that he hasn't quit, all that sort of stuff, and that he's basically looking um, to return better, stronger, all that sort of stuff that a fighter will say in the wake of a loss. So what do I make of this fight? Junior Far versus Aslan Bekmakmadov. Well, I think Far, I would say, we've seen in some recent fights, the first round stoppage against Lucas Brown and then the fight against Frank Sanchez. When he's hit, he stays hit. And he has been a little bit too easy to find at times. And Frank Sanchez, no shock there, but Lucas Brown clipped him early and Junior Far didn't recover. So when he's hit, he stays hit. And a guy like Arslan Bekmakhmadov, I think against the caliber of fighter of Junior Far and the way that he fights his style, I think he's going to catch up with him at some point. Junior Far doesn't really do the same things that Agi Kabiel does, who is a noted boxer and mover and has shown um, dedication to being a body puncher throughout his career. Junior Far is more likely to be at range, trying to stick the jab, look for you know left hooks, right hands. He's a, a bit more straight up and down compared to Agi Kabio, who's got a few more tricks in his bag. I, so I think that this is uphill work for Junior Far. I do think that if he can box smart, work to the body, and have a good strategy, he can make it you know more difficult for Makhmadov. But I think this is matchmaking that is designed to make Makhmadov get a stoppage at some point, I'd say within the first half a dozen rounds or so, and try to get him back a seat at the table in Saudi Arabia on these big cards, get him and his promoters and management, everyone involved, a, a decent chunk of change. Because I think, and I've always said this with Makhmadov, He's a fun fighter, but the wheels were always going to come off. Similar to the guys like Alan Babich, that sort of stuff. At a certain level, the level would be found and potentially exposed. But Kabayal did that brutally in Saudi Arabia. So if he gets back to the table, well, certainly, uh, you know, there's going to be questions about what he can do um, because I think matchmaking is going to be important. And I think this is good matchmaking for Makhmadov. So far, he's not a soft touch. He'll come to fight, but I think in this one, albeit, you know, the amateur sort of background rivalry, you know, this is over a lot more rounds. Makhmadov is going to, I think, get in there, be pretty heavy work for Junior Far, and when he clips him, and I think he will, he will end up landing a right hand or a right uppercut. 
I think Far his legs will do a little dance and it'll be sort of downhill from there. So I do think Makhmadov is going to go in, be aggressive. There might be some resistance from Far for a few rounds before he starts to get broken down, but I think Makhmadov is going to take this inside six or seven rounds, possibly even a little bit sooner. And after some of those stoppage losses to Frank Sanchez and also Lucas Brown, I guess we have to ask the question about Junior Farr. Where's the motivation at? You know, a couple of the biggest fights in his career, he's come up short and he's been stopped pretty badly. The Brown fight, for example, where's the motivation? Is this just about getting another payday or is he truly trying to craft a path back to somewhere to relevancy? It's a question you have to ask. This was the first loss for Makhmadov, but not the first loss for Junior Farr. So there's questions for him heading into this fight. So if he really, you know, so we could see a very determined Farr, but I hope we don't see one that sort of, um, you know, folds relatively quickly. And then it looks like, OK, well, he's done. So it's an interesting fight because it's not a soft touch for Makhmadov. Uh, Far, you know, good height, six foot six. He's tricky. He's got a good jab. If he uh, can land to the body, maybe he can make it interesting. But I expect Makhmadov, with his pressure and aggression, will land at some point and will be too much for Junior Farm. How do you see this fight playing out? And I guess, like I said earlier, could this be like a almost like a, a rapid charge back to Saudi Arabia? The winner goes back because, say for example, whoever wins could end up um, finding themselves against the likes of a Justice Hooney. That was the guy that I automatically thought that he's just appeared on a card recently, had a win, had got through a few hairy moments, but it sort of seems like Matchroom's uh, determined to push him in against some good names on the way up. And the winner of this fight, I think, would be a perfect fight for Justice Hooney, and that would really sort of test where he's at. As we know, he had a few sort of um, wobbles towards the end of that fight, his last one that he won, but Makhmadov or Far would give him a pretty good fight. What do you make of Makhmadov vs. Far? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.